Hi, I'm Sandy and welcome to Sandy's Numerology. Today I'm going to be looking at the Guptas, Oak Bay Investments, Duduzani Zuma and Jacob Zuma. First I'm going to start with a tool, Kumar Gupta. And interesting, he's born on the same day and month as Donald Trump, the 14th of June 1968. Uh, he's only 49. But what is interesting about him is how I'm going to tie him to three other Guptas and then through to Zuma. Atul is independent, he's grounded, he's bright, he's fast, he's got vision um, and very similar on the Donald Trump is there's a lot of imbalance. So he doesn't quite have his feet on the ground. He's got an eight life path, which says he doesn't communicate terribly well. He's also got that kind of a sharp tongue. He's very family orientated, which is part of the culture um, from where he comes. But what is interesting is his age is 49. So his age adds to a four. And that was since June of 2017. And that four being his age is telling you that from a business perspective things from external are being shut down minimized and it's all about the paperwork and it's all about the facts and as he has crossed his midpoint in december which would have been the 14th of december it now goes into detriment and as he reaches his birthday in June of 2018, he goes into detriment again. So 49, he's 50, and he's 51 are going to be three of his worst years. So the beginning part of his 2017 to 2018, ah, there was things happening which he could handle, etc. But now it's very different because he is going into discovery and disclosure on a worldwide basis and there is no place that he can hide because of the stories that are going to come out the investigation that is going to expose and we think we know a lot we don't know half of it there's no chance that even when he turns 52 that things are going to even gain some kind of momentum because he then, because he has an eight life, eight life path, at the age of 53 and 54, he goes back into detriment. So Atul Kumar Gupta, born 14th of June, is in a really bad stretch. Now Atai Varun Gupta, who is the nephew, he's born on the 14th of July, 1986, and currently his age is 31. So you match Atul's 49, adds to a four, and Varun's age adds to a four. So he is being impacted the same way that a tool is, or he's being impacted because of a tool. So at 32, he goes into detriment. 33 and 34 are also going to be bad years. So both a tool and Varun have got a four year stretch that is not good. Varun is not as strong as Atul is because he's got some fears he's about loyalty and commitment but I think he's going to waver somewhat he's all about the money all about the money then there are two RT Gupta born on the 24th of the 10th has a four life path and RT Gupta's age is also 49 born the same year as Atul so both Atul, Varun and Arti ages add to a 4 and going from the 4 into the 5 is all of the business being condensed it's been minimised and then the discovery and disclosure and I wonder what they've tried to get rid of 
But the universe is awesome because there is always a paper trail. They might get rid of what they've got inside of their offices, but whatever's been sent out of their offices is up for grabs. So Arti Gupta has got, and it's going to be four years, 49, 50, 51, 52, not good. And then as she goes into 53 and 54, personally incredibly affected by where one's living and one's values and valuables. But I think that Arti Gupta as, um, is, is as strong as Atul and Varun. I don't think that Arti speaks up. She's very much of the silent type. Um, she's a female and she's married to Rajesh Gupta. But there's drama on the home front. Lots of drama. I go to a tool on the home front. He's going from a three, four, five, and six, which are all his numbers, not good, all the way through to 53. So I now want to bring in Chitali Gupta, born on the fourth of the fourth and a seven life path. Is Kana still in a way okay? But in 2019, Chitali is hit from all aspects. So I think as it hits the top and then it's going to kind of run down to the younger or the lesser involved or the lesser of the drivers of the business of the Guptas. So 40, Chitali is turning 48 and now in April, the 4th of the 4th, um, and then 49 in 2019, so 2019 and 2020 are not good years for Chitali either. So it's really interesting is that what you have to understand is that if your age adds to a four or a five, it is not necessarily you that is doing the negative. It is what is being done to you because of the negative that you have done. And I believe that internationally, the Guptas are going to be basically their doors closed. Whether it's this Baroda Bank, which is the first announcement that they're investigating, and I think that this is going to run all the way through to the Gupta family that sit in the States and the Gupta family that sits in India. But I now want to tie this to Oak Bay and Oak Bay Resources and Energy is born on the 10th of November 2009 and it has a five life path. So Oak Bay Resources, starting from scratch, is a dirty company. And it's interesting that when you look at the people that own a company, you look at their age. When you look at a company and the people that own it, you look internally. And currently, Oak Bay in 2017 is in an internal four, and at their age, uh, their birthday on the 10th of November in 2018, they go to their life path. So this is a two-year stretch of disasters. There is such financial mismanagement, and any people that are going up against Oak Bay, I would say, you need to get hold of their accounting firm because their accounting firm hasn't even been doing their business correctly. And I would be bringing them um, into the, the court matters. But if I had to push Oak Bay to uh, 2019 and into 2020, definitely not good at all. So I've tied Oak Bay is in a fourth going into a five year, a tool is in a four going into a five, RT is a four going into a five, Varun is a four going into five, and it's only Chitali, he's got one year delay, and then he's going to be affected by all of this. But now we've got to bring in Jacob Zuma, who's born on the 12th of the 4th, 1942. So currently he's 75, so his age adds to a three. So he's kind of still doing a little bit of a dance, but from his birthday, which is on the 12th of April, the impact is already going to start hitting from his position as president and also what's going to be happening to him 
um, at 76 and 77. So his age, age adds to a 76, which is a 4. And then in 2019, his age adds to a 5. So all of the legal matters and court cases, etc., are going to have an ongoing effect. He is going to be affected. And between the Guptas and Zuma, there is cause and effect. So the whole picture actually ties together that the universe, when the time is right, the universe is very patient, and when it's ready, it will step in, and the universe is ready. The last person I'm going to look at is Duduzane Zuma, born on the 20th of May, 1982, and he's currently 35 years of age, and will be turning 36 in May of 2018. And he is not being impacted by the Guptas, He, at his birthday, goes into his life path, and life path is normally just a low year, and it's a long year, and it's a flat year, and he's going to have to do some serious thinking. At 37, he's going to be making very, very good money, um, but at 38, he's got the law coming his way, so I think this will be when he is physically in the court because you know court proceedings and court charges and court dates all take time and everybody out there you have to be patient because you've got to watch this ball roll but I think that Duduzana Zuma is the kind who's going to turn state witness it's his only way out of this and I don't think he has as much to lose but he has a lot to lose so between Duduzana, Duduzana, Zuma, Jacob Zuma, Oak Bay, and the four Guptas that I've looked at, things are not looking good. So the next three to four years for all of them, there's dire straits coming their way. Thank you for watching Sandy's Numerology. Mm -hmm.